Hello guys and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. So we've got a lot of work to do. We really have. For those that are joining this series a little bit late, this is a scenario that we're working on. And let's have a look at what our goals are down here. We have, before 200 weeks, 300,000 people using public transport and 2,500 ore specialization and oil specialization. We are creeping up. We're creeping up. This is going to be the biggest problem. And we're quickly approaching halfway. Um, I'm going to keep this on pause a minute while I talk. Because time really is of the essence with this one. I can't just keep it running <laughs> all the time. Because time is running away. And um, What I've just done is did the trick off camera that I did last time. Where I put all the taxes up. Uh, high all the way um, until almost oh well people are moving out now that's because of the trash problem but until um, the growth has slowed down enough uh, that we'd gained a load of money but then I just had to spend it on an incinerator um, there's been comments from people saying get an incinerator for like three episodes they're flipping expensive this one cost me 30,000 um, but basically I had to get it because this is full up and that's now emptying into there, which is a, a right pain because it's right on a busy main road where trucks are trying to come in and out and it's a bit of a rubbish place for that to be. I don't know why I put it there. Um, we do need to upgrade these roads to make them bigger, but at the minute I can't with this. As soon as this is empty, I'll move that and then... Yeah, we'll see how we go. But anyway, that's what we did. Uh, the heating problem that we've got is getting better. The reason we've got a heating problem, which some people, I think, missed in the last episode, is our boiler, which is... That's the oil power plant. Where's our boiler? I can't see it for looking there. Let's do that. There we go. There it is. Looks the same as everything else with the chimney. Um, didn't have enough oil. I've moved it over here. It's now got oil for 13 weeks. It's in the oil industry area. So they hardly have to travel anywhere to get the uh, oil to it, which is good. Whoop, it's saving. There we go. So, I mean, some of these are still struggling to get heat over here. I think that just might be a distance thing rather than anything else, which is a bit of a pain. <clears throat> but anyway... Uh, let's have a quick look at this actually heating. Oh, it's still a bit low. Can I adjust my budget for my water? Yeah, let's just put that on 100% on each of those. 99, 100, and we'll just leave it like that. How's electricity? Electricity is fine. I'm not going to bother adjusting that. So, 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 so. We have some needs down here also. That's not what I want to click. I want to click that. I want to click policies. I was reminded, which I'd forgotten about. We now have the city planning options, of course. We've had that for a while. And we want our industries to grow. So we can use some of these. But it is going to cost us money. That's the reason I'd sort of... Other than I'd forgotten about them. But I'd sort of not forgotten about them. Because if you use these, your upkeep um, goes up. So we can have small business enthusiasts for people to basically helps them grow Biz, big business benefactor for high density commercial business industrial space plan high-tech housing so these are quite good uh, we also have tax relief for low density residential we want people to move in so i'm going to add that tax relief for high density we'll add that uh, commercial commercial offices so you don't you get the small business enthusiasts for commercial you don't actually get anything for industry do you tax raise tax raise tax raise tax raise tax raise relief for residential relief for residential relief for commercial relief for commercial relief for offices see there's no relief for industry you've got this one here industrial space planning it allows industry to work even more effectively by overlooking a few work safety laws disables the amount of goods oh sorry double <laughs> disables goods doubles the amount of goods produced by industry so that one might be good so we're going to give those a go. Uh, no electricity for heat. Bills are forbidden to use electricity for heat. And they can only use heat produced by heating services. No. Only electricity for heat. Forbidden to use heat. And they can only use electricity. Raises electricity consumption significantly. Hmm, extra insulation. Bills require less energy for heating. Produces less tax income. Nah. We're going to leave that one as it is. Yeah, we're going to leave that one as it is. Uh, free public transport could be good. I don't know why we haven't done that one before. 
Because we want people to use public transport. That's the main thing that we're going for. Let's do those and just see whether we're going to suddenly lose a load of money. Hopefully not. Uh, thank you as well for pointing out. I, I had like three bus routes going around this same place over here. Yeah, we'll see how that goes with the heating. Um, by mistake, because I had my bus routes turned on and off and I didn't see all the different ones. If you press that button there, they've got no worries at all. Look at that. So let's see. We do have some need for industry. Um, all of this is pretty much filled in, isn't it? If we look at that, let's take a look at this one here. Yeah, all of that one there, the ore is all pretty much filled in. Uh, the oil, we still we, we still have space up here. We don't actually. Most of these are filled in as well. I'm just wondering whether we can... We've got a park in there. If we put another little park down here, how much is that going to cost me? 1250 Let's do that. Um, we could add some heating pipes... And just try and cover a little bit more of that. I know we can upgrade these later. It's cheaper just to do water pipes, isn't it? I'm just going to go for some water pipes at the moment. And then we'll try and sort of cover any more later. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll upgrade those when we can afford it. Let's add in some more of these. Oh, it's a park. There we go. We've got these down here. And see if we can encourage some of these to move in. How far did my coverage go? All the way up to the end over here. Excellent. So let's get these filled in. Let's unpause. We'll let the game run a bit. And see if that helps. I want to increase increase this area as much as we can. Let's just check my zoning. Yep, that's fine. That's set to cover all of that. Good, good, good. So hopefully that will help and we'll still make some money. Uh, we need some more residentials. So... This is a nice area that we're expanding here. It has a train station right by it. Which is taking a lot of people, which is good. So we could... Where else could we expand? We've got some of this down here which we could expand. Which is all low residential. We could make this high density. Let's do that. So if we take out all of these. Let's just pause while we do that and add those back in again. And hope we haven't missed anything. Bom, bom, bom. There we go. That's an easy one. All of that in one go. Nice. And all of that in one go. Nice. And all of that. And all of that. And all of that. See how our bus routes keep up with all of that increase. And then this down here. We need some more commercial. There we go. We could put a few offices in as well. Probably don't need many. I've got a few offices dotted around. Just a few. There we go. So we'll see how the growth goes. We've dipped to below 10,000. But I'm hoping that that will give us a nice boost. So where would be a good place to expand next? I'm reckoning we just need some people over here. So these guys, they don't have to wait so long for people to... I mean, we want people to travel. We could just put buses for them to get up there. I don't know, actually. Thinking about it. I mean, the further away they are, the more like they are, you know, to take the train or the bus. Is all of this... Yeah, all of this is oil, isn't it? So we want to keep the oil area going. How's this going? Oh, pfft, didn't mean to do that. There we go. 90% full. So that's emptying slowly. This isn't backing up too much. It's moving, which is good. I mean, this is... I wonder whether we could just upgrade this a bit. What have we got going on here? Yeah, it's just basically we need more roads to get places, but I don't want more roads, if that makes sense. And one, it's like weighing up between not having more roads because you don't want people to use them <laughs> and not having better roads. Oh, what's going on? No electricity. Ah, oh, someone's moved out of there, look. I saw that and I thought, what's going on? Uh, let's go all the way along to that. That is not good. Please get some more electricity. Yes, there we go. Excellent. Um, let us also... We can expand this area here a tiny bit. Maybe up to the railway line here. Let's see, let's see. How far out does this one need to go? Let's go as far as we can for now. And I want to line that one up. Sort of overlapping a little bit, isn't it? I don't want it to overlap. All of these should be turned off. There we go. Let's. Oh, hang on a sec. That ain't gonna work. 
to grid. I want it to go straight. Uh, to angle. There we go. Why doesn't it line up? I'm trying to get it to line up exactly the same like to there. Okay. It's all going back on again. <laughs> yeah, look. It won't get it. Is that? Oh, I'll tell you what. Forget it. Forget it. Let's just go one out then. I don't care. So that can basically go up to there. There we go. And um, all I wanted to do was put a bit more... Put a bit more of that in there. There we go. Because we have a need. We can even have a tiny one there. Hopefully they've all got coverage for water and such. Heating. Almost. Almost. Let's just go... Like that. There we go. As soon as you put it down, people are moving in. Excellent. How's this looking? That's growing nicely. I'm hoping when we get... To I reckon it's going to be 1,500 that we're going to get another boost. So, I mean, if we can concentrate on getting people to move to the oil area. Okay, what are they complaining about? Trash. I don't know why. We've got a trash... A landfill site here. It's only 10% full. I mean, are these are all my garbage trucks. Where are they all going? Are these all out? Let's have a look at my budget for garbage. It's like 110%. I mean, we could up... Let's just put that up to 150 and just really try. So, it had 17 trucks before. Now, it's got 19. So, where are they all going? They're all going around here. And they're all coming... At, these are garbage trucks. Yeah, and they're all coming along there. And then they're coming in here. Can't they... This isn't a one-way road or anything, is it? No, it's a two... Oh, here we go. Look, one's coming down here. Okay, well, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know why... He's not coming down there. That one is. Hmm. Seems weird. They're going all the way around here. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I'm going to... Oh. It's saving again. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete that piece of road so they have to come this way. That just seems silly. There's nothing around there. Why go all the way around that way? And these aren't one-way roads or anything. Look. So what's he going to do? Yeah. Hopefully that will help anyway. And the fact that we've got the incinerator here as well, that should help. So let's have a look at some of our other needs that we've got. See, oh hang on, we've got some more growth we can do. Is this all filled in nicely? It has. Good. Um, let's add another little bit in just down here. Trying to make good use of the space because as we discovered before... There is not a huge amount of space. Let's go... Up here. Well, there is space, but it's sort of, you know. I don't know what I'm talking about. There's plenty of space. <laughs> There's plenty of space, but we want it all, you know, we don't want to start putting people all the way down here. Because the, the cost for the infrastructure would be immense, basically. That's what I'm trying to get at to do that. Yeah, they're all covered there. So if we can build in areas where they've already got, like, water coverage, like this, that's just what we want to do. You know, that's that's the best idea. Just talking of that, actually. Let's, I mean, there's all of this coverage down here. Could I build off this main road? No, it's too far from a train station, so people are just going to drive. Yeah, we'll see how that goes anyway. Right, let's, let's have a look. Yeah, I know we haven't got enough incinerators. That's fine. Healthcare is... Six citizens, 305. We've only got capacity for 100. Okay, so let's start looking at some of these things. Where is our healthcare stuff? One is over there. We certainly need another one in here. We're going to just spend all of our money now. That's cost 10,000. We haven't got one here. Let's have a look at the road coverage. And see if we can squeeze it in the middle. It's going to take out two buildings, whatever we do. So let's have another one there. So that's going to give us another... What's that going to bring our heal capacity up to? 200. So we definitely need one more. Just wondering what, our, the, what the population of these areas is. Let's... Can we just take this here? And just have a look. Garland Hills. Population 4,070. Okay. So that's like 200. I mean, we haven't got one up here. That would also... I think one up here would be good. Because that would increase the the nicety of this area 
and hopefully encourage more of this to move in so we can keep increasing our oh, 1,400 please let there be a big boost of money at 1,500 that would just be fantastic okay heal capacity yeah it's borderline what about death care capacity 3,000 yeah we're okay for that that's over here somewhere Deceased 23. Crematorium availability zero. So at the minute we're we're not using a crematorium. How much does that cost? 25,000. No, we're going to hang fire on that one. Okay, fire coverage is pretty poor. We've not had any fires yet, though. Yeah, that's a firehouse. We've got one up here already. But one over there. How much do these cost? 12,000. I mean, one here would be good. I mean, that's right over there. It's not really covering this area much. I could do with moving that one right into the middle over here. How much would it cost to move that? Let's see. If we plonk that there. 2,400. I just want it to cover more. Oh, there we go. That's covering this area better, which is what I want. Let's do that. And see how that goes. And then down here, we could do with one in here. Although this is quite upgraded as it is. But that will cost us another 12. And again, that could do with going in the middle here. Yeah, let's do it. We need to. Police was one there is a bit of a problem. There are not enough jails. Detain criminals 24. Ja oh, there is enough jails. Crime is okay. Crime is quite low. I think some people were seeing these trash signs and thinking they were crime signs before. And they're not. We've still got a trash problem, but we're getting there with that one. Yeah, we don't need any more police stations. Schools are still a problem. Oh my goodness me. Let's have a look again at this area here. So, households, workers, children. 733 children, 1,142 teens. I would imagine it just splits it as children to elementary school, teens to high school. That's probably the way it goes. So, I mean, children 700 and whatever it is. Uh, this is only holding 300. What about this area over here? We've got two districts here. Garland Park. Industrial space planning, free public transport. Oh, yeah, the free public transport's working well. We're still making money. What are we up to? 44,000. Okay, it's growing. Oh, what are we up to for this? <gasps> 1,600. Oh, I was hoping that would go up to 1,500 to give us a boost, but not yet. We could just change this to cover all of that. As we're not doing the schools out policy here anymore. And then we'll get a better idea of how many live over here. Yeah, loads. <laughs> there we go. That answers the question. So we basically could do with another school over here. They're only 10,000. So let's have one there and one here. That's going to squeeze in there. This end. So that's nearly all of our money gone. Hooray. Now we can't afford a high school. And then we've got one high school down there. One up there. Let's see what the usage is on this. That one's okay. Let's have a look at that one there. That one's full up. So we need another one at the top. How much is that going to cost us? 24,000. Well, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. And then bus routes we know we're okay on. Okay, so services we're pretty much okay. We just need to grow a little bit more. Let's see. Could we add something along here? We've got this road. Let's make use of that road. I'm assuming we're covered for heating and stuff. Almost all the way along. So that could be quite good. So if we build up to sort of here. Oh, it's going to take out all of those. we do that. What? Ah, oh, seriously? Why can't I build off of that one? If I go at a slight angle. Okay, thank you. You're getting annoying. Okay, let's do it this way. If I was going to build in here... It'd have to go there. I could just about. There we go. And then we'd have some houses along there. Again, making use of the fact that we've already got... Mm, do that one. I think some of these may complain down the end. 
The fact we've already got heating pipes, yes they will. Let's go... I don't need to go that far, do I? Yeah, let's go to there. Good, they're going to fill up. Filling up every space. What's going on here? Okay, that's for commercial. I'm looking, I'm looking for tiny spaces. How's the traffic going? Yeah, still backing up. Whatever, whatever. What we could do, actually, is we've got this one connection here between this side and this side. We could add another road over. I know we're trying to encourage people to take... transport but if we could get another road out here that seems like a good spot what's that oh power cable right in the middle there didn't see that before let's remove that uh, let's put all the snapping back on again okay if we go up to there can i get over the top yes i can I mean, that then could just go there. It could go there. Yeah, let's go down to here. That's nicely far away from any other junctions. And I've deliberately done it as a normal road. Because I don't want to do a sudden big road across there. And suddenly all this traffic starts coming down that road. But Oh, there we go. Look, being used already by ambulances. And people are walking over there as well. We want you to use public transport. Don't walk. Okay. Well, some people are still going to walk. <laughs> Whatever you do. Well, there's lots of people walking that way. There's a lot of people walking that way. I mean, that could be... That could be a bus route. Do you know what we could do? If we upgrade a part of that... It's a two-lane highway, so they can't walk. Bing! Oh, darn it. Is that the wrong, wrong one? National Road, that's the one. Right, they can't walk anymore. They can still drive. And then what we could do, we, we know people want to go that way, so we can add a bus stop. Um, because that's fine if they want to use buses. And then there's a stop here, so let's add... Add a new route. Create a new line. I want to do it this side. Okay, we'll do it that side. I don't care. Will it get over here? Yep, it will. Um, To here. No, to there. And then want it back up here again. Oh, man. Was that going to go all the way around? I'll tell you what. How about... We do this. And then go back up here. Yep. Other side of road. And then just go around the block and finish the line there. Yeah, there we go. So people want to get across. There's now a stop there for them. Excellent. How's that going here? I've got to say, I was thinking about this earlier. This is the hardest scenario I've ever, I've ever done. And I sort of like it and I sort of don't. Because I'll tell you what I'm missing. I'm missing the ability... So just be creative and build roads and improve stuff and all that sort of thing. I don't like the fact I've got to be concentrating about money all the time. But then on the other hand, that's a different challenge. Um, let's have a quick sip of tea. It's nice to have a different challenge in a scenario. Um, so, yeah, it seemed I'm going to, you know, we're carrying on with the challenge. We're carrying on with the scenario. Let's have a look. 1,806. I'm sure if we get this up to 2,000, something's going to happen. Uh, how much has been taken up? Not all of it. Oh, most of it. Let's keep growing this one up here. It seems to be... Uh, they're not complaining about heating, so we're going to go for normal water pipes for now. We're going to... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Public transport. <gasps> 100,000 money. Public transport is flourishing. So what did we hit on that? 50,000 people. I didn't think of a target going there. Oh my goodness. 100,000 money. Wow. Thank you very much, scenario creator. Suddenly, I'm not instantly overly worried about the, <laughs> about the money. Wow. That is absolutely blimmin' brilliant that is. Uh, let's use this one here. 
well, we can suddenly take care of a few more uh, a few more problems, can't we? Let's make sure we've got all of this filled in because okay, let's go back to this one here. Oh, that is just fantastic! The monies, that's what we need. Let's grab that. I think we're doing okay. Let's just look at the land value here. We want to get it towards lighter colours. Yeah, I don't know why these are still struggling with trash when this is landfills here. It's using 19 garbage trucks. I mean... <sighs> See, we could just spend 60 grand and put two incinerators down and that would just be like... Ugh. I'd, I'd, it'd feel like such a blimmin' waste. I think we need to take care of this heating problem. Is that going to stop them working or is it just... Okay, so the heating still needs you to use heat. If you wish for it to use heating, make sure you produce enough. Yeah, we just need to add another boiler to the system uh, that's not so far away. I think that's what it is. This one's so far away. I mean, it says heating availability. Actually, no, it's not. Heating availability is low. I said that before. So this is outputting 120 megawatts. Oil stored for 13 weeks. So it's not the distance. I probably could just add another one. So that's going to cost me 6,000. <laughs> weep, weep. Or well, 55,000. What is that? the difference? It's like 5,000 difference, but that only produces 80 megawatts. And that's 120. Geothermal energy, energy not as effective as fossil fuel. Very safe for the environment. Uh, pumps heat from deep within the earth to distribute to citizens. Ah, okay. Whereas this is actually using oil. Okay. Whereas if we have oil spare, we can sell that and we'd actually make more money. Although the money side of things, we're doing plus eight grand at the minute. So that's not bad. Maybe we, we, we will go for a geothermal... Man, they're massive. Geothermal plant. And we need to find some upgraded pipes we can put that against. Uh, which aren't over here. Let's turn that off. Oh, we've got nothing going on over here. Let's go. Let's look back at the pipes again. Yeah, if we add a pipe coming down here, that'll be fine. Let's go there with that. There we go. Is that going to get electricity? Yes, it is. So that should take care. Oh, it's quiet. It's like it makes no sound at all, this building. <laughs> That's weird. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, let's listen. Heat and availability is going up. Good, good, good. People are leaving the city. We do have a need as well for some more people. Um, There we go. And I do think we need to help with the trash. I think that is just the traffic. So I am going to put one over here. Where could we put it? Oh, right in the middle here. Yeah, we're going to put it there. And that will take care of this area here, hopefully. And also they can get across this road if they need to. Yeah, traffic hasn't gone down much, has it? Man, that was a big chunk of money. Right, we need to expand somewhere else. Let's have a look. What train stations have we got? We've got a cargo terminal there. We've got this train station here. I mean, we could expand in this area here because... We've got already our oil area covered. If we expand in this bit here, then they're going to use this train station. So let's do that. Let's take a road. Let's see. We could come off of here. No, we could come off of here. Let's do this. Let's go... I'm just trying to think of a interesting shape we could use. Well, that's curving there nicely. Maybe we'll go with that. Let's just pause this for a sec. What I don't want to do necessarily is block... I don't want to block this train from going, but... I mean, we could go, we could go straight across there and build some houses in the middle here. Why the heck not? And let's attach that to here. Yep, that's fine. Uh, your electricity is coming in over there, so we don't really need... Oh, that's taking it down to there. Okay. I bet if we fill this in with some high-density stuff, that electricity will connect again. What is down here? We've... Oh, yeah, I don't want any of this filled up, do I? 
This is oil. Let's un undo this for now. Uh, with this one. Yeah, we don't want anybody moving into Spring Hills. We want them up the other end. And let's just check what our heating pipes are here. Yeah, not bad. We're almost sort of... Almost not quite covering... I'm going to put heating in for these because this is people moving in. And we want to make sure that they're covered. Yeah, we'll go to there. Yes. There we go. So let's see whether they move in. That's going to be complaining of no electricity. And then we could probably build a couple of roads off of this as well to expand this a bit. So let's go down there. Down there. I like the idea of living with the train station going in between. We could even... Let's take these off. Stick one through the middle here. Like that. There we go. That looks good to me. How are these pipes going again? Almost, almost gone. Let's just cover that last bit and not look at how much money that cost us. And then we could have this filled in, that filled in, that filled in, and that filled in. So it's off the main road. It's near enough. I want another connection over here. So I am going to connect it this side as well. And then we'll see how that goes. I want to connect it straight, if that's a possibility. Yep. Whoa! That <laughs> surprised the train. Uh, I can't bring a road out that way. Let's go to there and to there. There we go. And we'll see how that goes. Got something a bit interesting going on there. Why the heck not? Let's just put uh, an office block there. See how that goes. And then our bus that we've got that goes around here. Let's have a look. We've got one that goes up that way. Saving, saving. Let's add in a new line that starts over there. Goes there, goes there, goes there, goes there. It can stop around here. Um, should we have... Let's not stop there. Let's... Yeah, let's go up this way. We'll stop at these, so if they wish to go to work, they can, which will be handy. There's a stop, then it's going to come back around this... Oh, hang on, we've missed the train station. Oh, no, that's it. Yeah, we've got the train station. And then we'll come back around this way. Yeah, I'm not interested in going up there, and then finish it here. Yeah, that'll do. Whoops, try that again. Complete the line. There we go, excellent. So they can come around to the train station, they can go to work, they can go to shopping, and they can get on the train and go elsewhere if they so desire. Excellent, and we're back to growing again. We've got money coming in. Good, good, good. And people are moving in here. That is what we want to see. We can add a little park in, and time is running away with us. Let's add that little park there that they can live around. They're going to be happy with that. Excellent. Excellent. Ah, oh, things are going nicely in our little area here. I am liking this. Let's take a quick look what we're up to here so oh we're about to finish our oil specialization we're not far off that which is fantastic um or specialization we're going to need to try and find another ore area because we filled that one in the next one is going to be so we've done that one it's going to be up here one of these that is the next nearest one isn't it yeah so maybe this one here then and we can run we could keep that entirely separate. We've got a cargo line. Try and attach to that. And just have passenger cargo. I've had a few people mention this. Just quickly before we, we wrap up the episode. People have been saying, build entirely separate areas. Don't have any roads connecting them. Yes, that would work. We've done that thing before. We're trying to get people to use transport. But as soon as you have a separate area, you need in it trash. So at the very least, that's 4,000. You need... Uh, medical, that's 10,000, 14,000. You need fire, that's another 12,000. You need police. You see where we're going with this? So even just building there and the train station and everything else, you need in like 30, 40 grand just to build it and get it self-sufficient. Um, so, I mean, we've got 71 grand, so maybe we could do that with... I mean, this is massive, this over here. 
we could do a little bit and then spread it to up there we shall see you next time we shall see you next time guys thank you for watching hit the big b with a tea stain if you've enjoyed this episode to subscribe and not miss out on the next one tomorrow and keep your comments coming as well i read all of them before i record every episode thank you for your help thanks for watching take care Bye bye